Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. Hey, hey Clean Nation. Nation, good, good to, to be, be with, with you today. today. I, I am so, so excited, excited to talk about, about how, how to take, take action, action and to lead and what it looks like, like to win in times, in times of uncertainty. uncertainty. Um, so, so excited, excited that we've actually got, got a big, big live, live webinar, webinar, first, first one I've done live and forever, forever coming, coming up. up. Uh, in, in an hour, hour at growingclinicampany.com forward slash corona party. So if you want to join me there, there, we're going to hit the, the, uh, we're gonna gonna kind of the highlights of uh, uh, Michelle says Echo, and I don't know what, what to do. Hold on one second. See if I can get this thing fixed. fixed. Hopefully, Hopefully I can. Either way, growingclinicampany.com. I might have someone speak it down. Can you guys still hear this? Still an echo? Let me know. I don't know what went on. We used to have this problem, and now... Uh, we used to, to never have, have this problem, problem. Now, now we have this problem. It's super frustrating. frustrating. It's frustrating. It's it's frustrating. Back, it's it's frustrating. Back, it's it's frustrating. It's super 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 frustrating. Uh, uh, Update system audio. audio. We're going to install, install later. later. There's an echo cancellation, cancellation with doing that. that. Um, nope, nope, still still see the echo. echo. I, don't I don't know what to do. do. Fix, fix the audio. audio. Um, I don't know. Really, hold on. Give me one second, guys. Hate to have you guys watch me do this live, but I don't know how else to uh, <laughs> how else to do it. Um, Lindsay says put headphones on on my end, but I don't think that's. I don't know how that's going to fix it, and I don't have headphones, so. Let me just figure. Oh, Lindsay says it's better now. So, <laughs> so Michelle says still. Lindsay says better. Getting lots of different uh, reaction. All right. Hopefully we can fix this in post. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Not sure what I can do. Hopefully it's at least hearable. Um, like I was saying. Oh, Lindsay says better now. Right, like I was saying before. Uh, if you go to Grow My Cleaning, oh, better. Okay. So whatever magic we did, nobody moved. We're gonna get this thing sorted. If you want to go to GrowMyCleaningCompany.com. Uh, forward slash Corona party. Maybe uh, Lindsay can drop, drop that in the chat. We are going to have a full online uh, webinar later today and dive deep into exactly what to do when things go nuts in your business. And I know uh, at the time of this live recording, there's a bunch of, you know, coronavirus nonsense going on. But the reality of the situation is um, we always need to know, you know, right now we might have a ton of global issues but the reality with business owners there's always going to be stuff right and a lot of times it happens personally right where it's like oh it's just me um something's going on in my life employees quit or something happened with money or some sort of customer is pissed or whatever the case may be we kind of have to deal with those those challenges on our own so this ability to deal with challenges in a positive way is the key to entrepreneurship all the time right rarely does it happen where we all deal with some sort of the same problem all at once like this coronavirus nonsense um but having the ability to, to, to deal with problems is huge, and that's what we're gonna talk about, how to take action in times of uncertainty, because the last thing that we need in times of uncertainty is to act uncertain, right? We need to act certain. And while we're doing that, hello, John and Michelle and Andrew. Good to have everybody on. So here's the problem. Um, most of the time when things get nutty and there's uncertainty, um, we think we have, or more importantly, we act like we have no control in our business, and we just kind of let the world wash over us, which is a great way to get uh, washed over. The problem is it doesn't just cost us growth or money, uh, but the potential and our own ability to kind of navigate changes in life. So basically we all as, as um, owners kind of need to be going to the mental gym to get stronger and more powerful at what we do. And when crisis happens, it forces us to go to the gym, right? So we can either curl up and die and go, I, you can't make me lift weights, you can't make me get stronger, you can't make me grow, or you can use this as an opportunity to transform. Um, and that really is kind of at the end of the day where people, um, the rich kind of tend to get richer and the poor tend to get poor. And I'm not saying that's right or it's good. I'm just saying it's the reality. So um, 
the cost of this if we're not able to do it right yeah daisy said it perfectly this is the time to shine cleaning nation um this is what we are here for right the government uh, most government municipalities have called us essential businesses right and i believe we're absolutely essential businesses and um you cleaning nation are who we need to make sure that we protect uh our country uh and, and its health so um, let's just dive into some of the things that we're believing that's killing us, that's not helping, and then we'll figure out how to, how to look at it better. So the first thing is we kind of have this crazy belief like, well, the government shut down my, my, my country, or not my country, we, I mean, effectively, really my country, but my community, and we're on lockdown, we're on this, so I've got to, you know, I've just got to go on business or depend on them to send me a check or whatever. The reality is you are always in charge of leading your team, right? What the government is going to, hey, Denise, good to have you, sister. What the government is going to do we don't have any control over, right? How quickly or slowly this virus is gonna spend, uh, spread, how long this um, kind of quarantine lasts. Um, there's all sorts of stuff we have no control over. And so many of us are spending all of our time focusing on that, which will just eat you alive as a leader, as a human, um, certainly as an entrepreneur. So really important that we take charge and realize how I respond to this circumstance dictates my reality, the reality of my business, the reality of my people, the reality of my team, my customers, my employees, my vendors, everybody that depends on me as a leader, as an entrepreneur in this space are depending on me to lead. And if I curl up in a ball, that's leading, right? And if I stand up and I teach and I stand for what's right and I get out there and hustle and serve at a higher level, um, then that's a different way of leading. So we gotta get out of this, the government, did this, the virus did that, therefore I have to this, right? The reality is you gotta lead and you gotta pick what's right for your team and get out there. Um, another thing that's killing people as well, it's the coronavirus, I gotta stop, I gotta hold on, I just wait, wait, right? And when we are in times of uncertainty, that's why the, the title is holding is take action in times of uncertainty. The last thing people need, what people out there are looking for, certainty and clarity, and leaders to come out and go, this is what we're going to do. Go this direction. So the, the crazy thing is the things that we teach and the concepts with living by our core values and pricing properly and, and client attraction systems and serving your community and all that sort of stuff is important all day, every day. However, when we get to crises, which is really where we're at, it is doubly, quadruply important. So, so many people are stopping doing what made them successful when it comes to client attraction, when it comes to hiring. Um, the reality is now is the time to double down on what made you successful. The things that you should do kind of generally that are good ideas are now absolutely required. Um, Friday, <laughs> my man Friday, keep keep effing up, effing up in, the, in the airwaves with this positivity. Love you, Mike. Friday is the best, man. One of our new next level members. So excited to get to hang with that guy for a year. Uh, and we're going to get you down here to Phoenix in April one way or another, buddy. All right. So we got to get out of this false belief of the government's doing this, therefore I'm in trouble. Or, you know, the coronavirus is here, so I've got to stop doing the things that make me successful. The reality is you have to double down on the things that make you successful. This is the time for leaders not only to lead, but to really grow and explode and increase your impact. Let's get some facts in here. Um, another belief that is just killing is I can't get new customers, right? I'm just trying to survive here. Let me give you some reality, some truths that are the, the case here in, in, in this time of what we're dealing with. Ads are cheaper. All of your competitors are not leading. They're curling up. They're afraid. They're running and hiding. So ads cost way less than they typically are. On top of that, there's more traffic than ever before. There's probably never been more eyeballs on Facebook, on Google, on um, any sort of media, right? We're desperate for connection and to have some sort of entertainment and talk where we're all quarantined at home. So never in my life have I seen more traffic, usually when the, the amount of traffic goes up, um, it gets more expensive, right? Um, but they're cheaper. And on top of that, there's more pain than ever, right? People complain constantly about, we're a commodity, you have to fight on price, you know, people aren't interested in me. Well, people that weren't interested in cleaning or thought it was a commodity a month ago, today they are very interested in cleaning. They understand it is not a, com a commodity. They, we're not talking about pain and budget. Who can do it cheaper? It is just who can get out here and serve me. Um, you know, I just, I looked up, uh, I, I want to get some data on this. So I looked it up, it says, as a, here's a quote um, from a couple people that own like zip recruiters and stuff. As the coronavirus is uh, lit up communities throughout the U.S., the demand for cleaning workers has grown. Offices, schools, transit system, malls, restaurants, and other businesses are now seeking antiviral scrub downs and help wanted ads for cleaners are projected to spike 75% in March. 75%, I can't think, I've been doing this for years coaching owners of cleaning companies. 
I can't think of another universe in which uh, ads for cleaning companies got up 75% uh, year over year. On job platforms like ZipRecruiter, on Snag a Job, on another online uh, jobs posting marketplace, cleaning jobs doubled in the last two weeks. That's up 100%. As did applicants who said they were looking for cleaning jobs, according to Matthew Stevenson, the company CEO. So, guys, gals, this is going to be a game changer for this industry and for your business. You can curl up and die and let this take you out. Um, or you can ride this wave to a bigger level of service, of impact, of community, of growth, of fulfilling your job as an entrepreneur. Uh, and I don't want you to feel like, oh, I don't want to take advantage of other people in this crisis. Of course you don't. The last thing I would want you or anyone to do is to take advantage of anybody in this crisis. But the reality is you are on the front lines. Like we said, the government has decided in almost every circumstance that I've seen that cleaning companies are essential. You are the front lines. You are hot. You are here to serve. This is what we've been training for. All the training that you come uh, here to Cleaning Nation for all the time and effort and energy you spent, it is so we could serve and protect our country. I mean, literally, if we're able to stop the stop or slow the spread of this virus, we are saving lives. This is what we've this is what we've trained for. So this is not the time to curl up and get scared. This is the time to um, expand and really serve. So, and, and on that, I know there's a lot of you out there going, I can't send my people out; they might get sick. I'm going to agree with half of that. The part that we are going to, Jessica says, she's she's riding the wave, love it. The truth is no, we cannot and should not send our people out unprepared to make themselves or other people sick. As leaders in this community, as people in the cleaning space, it is our job to make sure that we are not only training our employees, but we're training, uh, our, we're educating our, our customers on how to make sure that we provide cleaning without making people sick. Um, it is your job to train your, your, your employees, your customers, and lead. The benefit to all this is if you get this right, you have the opportunity to have a bigger impact than you've probably ever had to grow your company, to grow your team, and really explode. Uh, last thing I want to end with, and we might just go quick on this because, again, we're going to dive into all this really deep at growingcleancompany.com forward slash corona party in uh, about 49 minutes. Uh, the last thing I want to give you is... There's opportunity everywhere, but you got to know this is not a work-free zone, right? You are absolutely going to have to do things that maybe we wouldn't have had to do a week or a month ago. Uh, and coming up for the next, you know, six months, the reality is there's going to be some percentage of employees that's lower than there is, or not employees, but owners of cleaning companies than there is now, right? I'm hoping it's 80, 90, 95%. The reality is it might be 60 or 70%. A lot of people are not leading, they're giving up and they're leaving. Um, the problem is this quarantine part, this part of our nation's history, our world's history, where everyone just stops for a week or two weeks or three weeks, maybe four, it's going to come to an end. Um, my belief is it's going to come in to an end shorter than longer. I don't think it's going to be three months. I think it's going to be three weeks, but we'll see. I do know it will come to an end, right? Our society's not just become cave dwellers, right? We will go back. At that time, there will be far less cleaning companies available to serve than there are now. But the need isn't just going to, when everyone goes back to work, the need isn't going to go back up to 100%. It's going to go up to 400%. Remember that quote that I just read, offices, schools, transit systems, malls, restaurants, and other businesses are now seeking antiviral scrub downs. Um, that's going to be everybody. So we're not, we're going to have less people available to serve and do the things that need to be done. And we're going to have more need than ever in history. And we're talking about riding a wave. If any of you guys have, you know, whether it's been body surfing or, or surfing, you've been out in the ocean, you know you got a big, perfect wave coming. If you wait till it's on top of you, it's going to crush you. It's not going to take you anywhere. You need to start paddling before that wave comes and hits you so you can ride the momentum in. That's exactly what you need to start doing here. So for those of you that are afraid, those of you are like, I'm just going to curl up. I'm going to hope. I'm not going to do anything. I stop my advertising, stop my hiring, all the things I know I should be doing. Um, not only are you not doing a disservice to yourself, or not only are you not doing a service to your community, you're doing a disservice to yourself, to your team, and you're just not leading. So really important, guys, gals, certainly we need to do it in a way that's safe, right? Our job is to protect and serve our community, not to hurt anybody, but we have to be out there leading, right? And if we're scared, it's going to be fear for everybody. So if you get this right, this is your opportunity to grow, to have all the impact in the world. If you need more of this, and you, I think we've got like eight opportunities uh, you know, eight mistakes that I want you to make, like 10 opportunities and 20 action items you can make right now during this time. Join me at growingcleaningcompany.com forward slash Corona Party. We're going to dive way deep into that. I think we've got um, 950 people registered at, uh, at this recording. So it is literally going to be a party. Um, can't wait to see you guys there. We're going to walk you through it. Talk to you soon. 
Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow, and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at Grow My Cleaning Company, here's what I want you to do right now. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.